Welcome to my channel tonight. My name is Apostle Ben Okoyo, your regular host on this channel. I have a very sensitive issue to discuss with us tonight. And it borders down on what is going on in this end time in Christendom. In 2014, in the month of June precisely, the Lord opened my eyes in a revelation to see a lot of things that will happen in the end time in the church. He told me to announce to the church that Satan has come to church. And believe you me, every child of God watching me tonight, it is happening even in our country, Nigeria. Satan has come to church. The Bible says that Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light and they are deceiving so many people. There are so many prophets, so many apostles, so many teachers who are not from God, but they claim to be doing God's work and they are deceiving so many people with the doctrines of demons which they are spreading. The Bible says in the book of First Timothy chapter 3 from verse 1, it said, Know this, that in the last days perilous times shall come. It's all, it also says that, that for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own loss are heaped to themselves, teachers having itching ears, people who will be teaching doctrines of demons, and it is happening in this end time. The Lord will put my eyes to see that in this end time, that an enemy will begin to attack the homes of men of God, who will attack the homes of Christians. And that is why today you are hearing a lot of stories about so many people, whether men of God or so-called men of God, you are, you are hearing a lot of atrocities happening in their homes because the devil is at work in the end time church. Now what grieves Jesus more is that most of believers who are supposed to be ready, who are supposed to be on ground waiting for his coming, who are supposed to be watchful, are sleeping. Child of God, hear me tonight. When last did you take time to pray? When last did you take time to fast? When last did you take time to seek the face of God? When last did you really, really take time to pray? Today, social media, the internet has taken the place of Jesus in our lives. Today, people no longer preach the gospel of Christ, of salvation. But today, people are after prosperity. Now, don't get me wrong. The Bible says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospered. But to the people are beginning to forget the essence of the soul prospering, and they're focusing on the physical prosperity. And today, so many believers can go to any length to get prosperity without knowing the real true source of prosperity. Today, so many things are happening in Christendom and preachers of the end time are not helping matters. Today, you find that the believers can divorce and get married easily without have, have, forgetting that Jesus said the only way you can do that is in the case of adultery. But today, a man of God can just wake up and decide that he no longer wants to marry his wife and call for a divorce. Check men of God in Nigeria you will find out that a lot of them have broken homes. And this is not what the Lord wants for his church. It is a work of the devil. Satan is attacking the church because the church has lost the place of prayer. The church is now focusing on other things, forgetting that prayer is the mighty weapon that the Lord has deposited in our care to be able to deal with the kingdom of darkness. Remember, the Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places. Now, when we take up the place of prayer, that we can be able to quench every fiery darts of the enemy. But today, when you go to the church, the word of God is watered down because there is no longer power on, from the pulpit, because there is no longer holiness from the pulpit, because the pulpit has lost the eternal sacred power that Jesus gave when he was living. He said, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and upon the paths of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Today, believers do not longer want to go to their knees, on their knees and ask God for power. 
they think that God no longer gives power. Right now, what we see is voodoo. What we see is magic. What we see is hypnotism. And many believers have been deceived. The Bible says that in the last days, false prophets shall arise and they shall deceive many. That if even they are possible, they will deceive the very elect. That is what is happening now in Nigeria as I speak. All over the world, they are raising different kind of prophets. Go to South Africa. A lot of them are there. They preach the gospel. They have mega churches. But the spirit of God is not there. Come to Nigeria. You have a lot of them with titles. Bishops, prophets, apostles. But yet the spirit of God is not in them. If you check their lives. The Bible says test every, every spirit. To know the one that is of God. If you test their life. If you check their spirit. You find out that the fruits they bear. Do not show the fruits that the child of God. A genuine man of God should bear. I want everyone listening to me tonight. To understand. That in this end time. We need to be very very careful. Firstly you need to be very careful. Who you go to for prayers. You need to be careful who lays his hand on you. For in this end time, a lot of transfer of evil spirits, a lot of transfer of demonic powers is going on as I speak. A lot of people have lost it, even believers. Child of God, hear me tonight. God is calling for a turnaround. God wants men and women who will join his end time army and put the end of the enemy's reign and make the devil to lose his reign over the church. God is looking for young, vibrant men, young, vibrant women who are ready to take the bull by the horn. Who will say like Esther, if I perish, I perish. Who will go down on their knees and pray and say, Lord, we need a revival in the end time church. The church has lost its power. Today we are chasing after shadows. That is why we can be pushed around with all manner of doctrines. That is why people are beginning to follow magicians instead of following the true men of God. As many of you that are watching me tonight, the Lord said I should tell you that you should be very, very careful. That Satan has come to church. And this particular satanic manipulations that they are using is high tech. It will take a child of God with high spirit of in fact, a child of God that can be able to detect the powers of darkness to be able to detect what is going on. It will take you to be highly sensitive in the spirit to be able to know how these people operate. They have gone ballistic. Right now, you cannot detect between a man of God, a true man of God, and an apostle of darkness. Why? Because we have lost it. Because we no longer have the spirit of discernment. In the time of old, the apostles were able to discern. But today, instead of us having to go to Jesus, go to the Holy Spirit to give us power, we are rushing to spirit powers, to spiritism, to, to people who practice occultism. The Lord said, I should tell you tonight, hearing my voice, that it's time to brace up. It is time to wake up. Child of God, it is time to wake up. It is not all about the church. It's about you. Salvation is a personal thing. When you receive Jesus, He saves you. And when He saves you, He saves you to save others. As many of you watching me tonight, I have the call of God on your life. That as you sitting down, you are waiting. It is time to move into the field. The harvest is indeed plenty. But the laborers are few. And the Lord is looking for young men and women. He's looking for people who will go out and carry the gospel to the ends of the earth. He's looking for people to enroll into his end time army who will unleash the final onslaught against the powers of darkness in this end time. I congratulate you that is watching me tonight. Because in this series, Satan has come to church. I'll be taking it from series 1 to series 2 to series 3 to series 4 to series 5. Today is just a preamble. From tomorrow, I will start on what the Lord revealed to me. Bit by bit, I'm going to break it down to show you exactly what is going on in this end time and how you can be able to avoid them. Believers today, so many believers today are no longer serving God, but they are serving mammon. 
where the Lord showed me a lot of things, I wept. I said, God, who then will be able to make it? And he told me that go out there and announce to the world that the Antichrist is close. The paths of darkness are already putting finishing touches to take over the church. And if the church is not careful, in fact, if the church is not careful, I don't know what will happen. Child of God, I'll be ending up this word for, for tonight. But I want you to stay tuned to this channel tomorrow. From tomorrow till Friday, I'll be revealing a lot of things that the Lord told me about the church, about so many so-called men of God who are making waves in the world, but yet they are not of God. Listen to me, they are not of God. They claim to have the anointing, but they are not from, of God. They are, that anointing is not from God. Stay tuned to this channel tomorrow. And I believe as you watch, God will bless you. I want you to subscribe to my channel. You will see a red button by the side of this video. Click on it and subscribe. And from tomorrow, I'll be bringing to your doorsteps fresh Rema from the bakery of heaven. And I believe that as you hear it, God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Stay blessed until we see tomorrow.